Hello, my name is Doug Donahue. I'm a Viking Yachts Sales Specialist with HMY Yacht Sales in Palm Beach, Florida. Welcome aboard our 44 Viking Convertible. Starting off, this is the mezzanine area. So you have nice mezzanine seating with ultra leather cushions and piping. Below is access to the engine room. Underneath the mezzanine seat is a full uh, bait freezer or refrigerator. It runs on a thermostat, so whatever you want to use it for that day, it can certainly do either or. Um, stepping down, we have a teak finishing on our mezzanine area, as well as a refrigerated drink box, storage in the step, and a tackle center. Moving aft in the cockpit, there are two large in-deck fish boxes. In the center is access to our lazarette area, and down there is the Seakeeper SK6 gyro stabilizer. Underneath the combing are both 12 and 24 volt electric outlets. They plug in underneath, they're concealed, and they're easy to access for any type of electric reel fishing you'll be doing. So the Viking 44 convertible has a pod helm, 360 degree walk around access. It makes it very comfortable to have multiple people up here. It's still easy to get around and do what you need to do if you're piloting the boat. And there's a tremendous amount of space up here for the, the size of the vessel. She comes with a Teak Release Marine helm pod with Palm Beach style single lever controls. The bow thruster buttons are in the throttles, so it makes it very easy to maneuver. If you're coming into the slip, you're going to do it backwards like this, and then you'll move your bow port and starboard side just with a touch of a button uh, to get your lines. Full Garmin electronics package, sonar, fish finder, GPS, bottom machine, radar, everything that you need. There's a nice fusion stereo, spotlight, and all of your engine controls are mounted up here. So a little information about the Viking 44. Um, again, she's 16.4 beam. She draws only four feet of water. Uh, she's powered by 1,000 horsepower Volvo diesels and carries 825 gallons of fuel. So your cruising speed on this boat is gonna be roughly 32 knots. She's very economical, very quiet, and this is a peppy boat for 44 feet. Moving forward on the flybridge, is a bench seat in front of the console. On the port and starboard side, there are bench seats with a backrest, decent storage compartments below these two areas. As we make our way inside, to the starboard side is a U-shaped ultra leather sofa. The sofa has gas shocks. It comes up and there's plenty of storage below the sofa for most of your fishing tackle, paper towels, pantry items or any extra gear you'll be using if you're taking a long distance trip. There's a high-low cocktail table. Moving over to the port side is a very large U-shaped dinette area. It has a raised platform so there's plenty of room for everybody to access it and there's a nice teak high-low table for your dining options. And over to the port side is your electrical panel. So this is how you will run and turn on and engage all of the systems on the boat. And an additional storage area and drawer here as well. If you look at the valances, it is an option to do the valances in Juno Teak, as long as this section. Um, I try to get most of my customers to take this option because it really sets the boat off and, and makes it look so much more classier. Moving forward is a large flat screen TV and an additional pantry cabinet. So we're going to head down two steps into the mid-level galley. It's a fully functional galley. It's the focal point of the boat. Anybody that's in the galley is going to feel like they're part of the conversation in the salon and all around them. So. The galley is outstanding in this model. Here you see it with Corian countertops, satin nickel faucet and sink, a two burner electric stove, and sub-zero under counter refrigeration. So you will have two refrigerator drawers and two 
deep freezer drawers. There's spices and pantry cabinets all over. We'll make our way forward. Now we're in the master stateroom with a queen size bed, large flat screen TV with a Juno Teak frame around the television, large cedar lined hanging closet, two storage drawers below, two end tables. So just like the salon, the bed comes up on a gas shock, it stays open, there's plenty of storage uh, for anything you might need in the master stateroom. The master stateroom has a private and suite head with its own vanity and a Corian countertop, recessed medicine chest, Antico teak laminate flooring, a Dometic head system, and a large stall shower. Making our way forward is the second guest head, also with a Dometic head, vanity, Antico teak laminate flooring, and Corian countertop and a large stall shower. Moving forward is our VIP guest stateroom. It has an offset double berth lower to port side and then a single berth to starboard side. The forward stateroom has its own air conditioning control, so anyone that is in the forward stateroom can be as comfortable as they want from a temperature perspective. They're not dependent on whoever is in the master stateroom or salon controlling the temperature. This is an escape hatch, uh, also skylight. So if you leave that curtain open, you do get a different effect in here with some natural light and it makes this room look quite big. We're making our way down to the engine room. You'll see that we have twin 1,000 horsepower D13 Volvo Penta diesels. 44 convertible prefers the 1,000 horsepower engine package. It's definitely the right engine for this boat. They are extremely fuel efficient. Aft behind the port motor is the Onan diesel generator. It is 13.5 kW. Aft on the engine room bulkhead is the 24 volt distribution panel. So that's all your switches for everything down here. Port side of that is one of the two battery chargers this vessel has. Uh, this vessel is also standard with the C-Star DC power steering system, which is aft of the starboard engine. Forward on the engine room bulkhead is a Reverso oil chain system. So that concludes our tour of the 44 Viking convertible. My name is Doug Donahue, a Viking Yacht Specialist with HMY Yacht Sales. Feel free to give me a call if you have any questions, but we look forward to seeing you out on the water soon.